So you know that we can finish this program unless we do our Relationship Fridays. Uh, now, last week we talked to ladies about the backup lovers issue. And this morning I'm talking to the guys as well. So Nasbi and Maxwell are joining me. And first of all, I want to ask you guys, are you dating? Is that like a so diff difficult a question to answer? Yeah, no, it is not. A so you're question. playing there, man. Uh, no, I'm not playing. You're backing I'm, them I'm, up. I'm, I am single. Uh, yes, I am single currently. Okay. Yes. Maxwell. Sorry, just put me on the spot. Um, <laughs> I don't know my relationship status now. <laughs> I don't know what to say about oh, my nice. relationship status. Hey, guys. Uh, whoa. Uh, <laughs> it's still like this, like that. Oh, you know? my yeah. God. <laughs> okay. So the back half stuff. Uh, hmm. You guys keep more than one, don't you? Um, they do. Eh. Yeah, why? They you're do. not one of them. <laughs> I'm not one of them. Okay, but why do, you, why do you think they do? Well, um, for backups, I think it's just like um, an insurance, you know, policy. Yeah, it's, it's just an insurance policy. These things do not really happen anywhere in a vacuum. Mm. Um, deeply embedded in these happenings are, you know, issues of mistrust, um, issues of insecurity in relationship. Mm. So, for instance, if you look at an issue of uh, mistrust, um, just like, I mean, let's to, to, to let us have a bright appreciation of the issue on the ground. I mean, for a company like multimedia, I'm sure you have another source of, you know, uh, power supply. You are not solely dependent on the national grid because <laughs> You know, the electricity <laughs> company of Ghana can <laughs> fail you at any point in time. Yeah, so you need a backup, yes. Oh, my God. So in You're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> From Likewise, insurance you know, to multimedia. You know, <laughs> so for, for, for relationships, uh, I mean, if you feel insecure and if, if you feel that your partner wouldn't be able to, you know, meet up with your expectations, be able to be there for you all the time, sometimes, you know, it gives some kind of justification to have for the backup. a backup. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Nasbi. A backup. Hmm. I think um, the reason why a lot of guys would have a backup, I want to say just guys, I think females also do that. But uh, the reason why people would do that is, you know, to, like Maxwell says, to have that insurance, you know, knowing that, okay, you always have something there when this one doesn't go through. But then again, I don't seem to agree with, you know, that line of thought. Because if you want to really have a backup, then why? What are, what are you up to? I mean, what are you doing? What, where is, what, what, what is the point in having mm -hmm. a relationship? Where yeah, is it going? Exactly. That is what I'm saying. I mean, if you want to have a backup, then, then you, you are not, you're not putting your all in what you have right mm -hmm. now. You are actually thinking of something and uh, saying, okay, I'm just doing it for doing sake. And this, if this doesn't go the way I think it's going to go, I'm going to fall back on my backup plan. And I think it's a wrong approach. You okay. know, to relationships. So you, you, mm -hmm. it's a no-no for the backup. But you, you haven't done it before? I, it's not a question what I, it's not a question <laughs> of what I've done it before, but I think it's wrong. I think that that is what. Yeah, but you guys is. continue to do it. It's very common. Yeah, um, for for you know, I I don't want to delve so much into psychology, the psychological bit of it. You know, um, another reason that you can also think of if you are looking at backup. I mean, for instance, in relationships, if you want to look at um, in marriages as well, in relationship, for instance, maybe I have a girlfriend. And she is, you know, the type who would want to adhere to strict, you know, moral principles. And you see, no sex before marriage. But you know, Abraham Maslow says, I mean, sex is part of, you know, the psych physiological needs. Yeah. You know, it, it can happen at any time. Mm -hmm. But this girl will tell you, I don't want to have sex, you know, before marriage. Then, she's my girlfriend. I really love her for that. But sometimes, some guys would, would want to go through the back door. I have somebody else that yes. you, you have you know, sex with. And that, 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 that comes with um, the body-centered and then the person-centered kind of, you know, sexual relationship. So they have somebody who they are person-centered when it comes to, you know, that kind of love. And mm -hmm. they have somebody who they are body-centered, not necessarily emotionally attached to them, but just to, you know, meet their emotional needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think these reasons also can be attributed to, mm -hmm. you know, the issue of backup. So they don't really happen in a vacuum. There are various reasons and yeah. reasons. I'm very careful with my words because I don't want to be judged when I step outside, you know, your studio. Oh, but I mean, these no, are the you say what you want to say. I mean, it's, yeah. it's your opinion. Yeah. And I want to give the opportunity to you so that you can quickly join us on the phone lines. So 0302-211-6912, 0302-211-6912. Uh, and I'm being forced to say, if only guys could call, it would be good, so we can hear them. I think last week we got a mixture, uh, but if I get a lot of, otherwise, if you're a woman and you think that you have an experience uh, from your guy and you want to share, you're also welcome to do so, but you have mm. to do it quickly, though. Uh, I've got nine more, no, not nine, maybe seven more minutes to, to wrap this one up.
Okay, so um, I think that the yeah. the point that you you brought in there yeah. about the sex bit is yeah. really really important because mm. sometimes some guys will make you think, oh, I mean, you're saying no sex and yeah. they agree with you, yeah. that but they're probably having it somewhere, somewhere. else. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So, what you have? Yeah, I think I agree. Mm. And yeah, we can even. But you will not say that you have an experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh <I'll laughs> I, I would. I don't think I would say that I have an mm. experience. I've, I've had some experiences. Mm. I mean, for the same reasons that uh, Maxwell is talking about. You know, you go into a relationship and then you think that um, you're actually going to enjoy what you have. You know what I mean? You're going to enjoy every bit. You know, from the conversations. Yeah. You know, the midnight calls. <laughs> you know, the, you know taking it going out you know and you know everything that has to come with it and then someone she tells you or he tells you I'm not interested in this part of it and then you are thinking I mean if I can have you you know all to myself then you know I might as well look for somewhere else you know yeah. and then to fall back on what I really need to keep but going. is it difficult for a guy to love someone or like the person and respect what the person does not want to do and still stay with that person alone and not look elsewhere. I think it's very difficult. I think I think the issue is that you know a lot of them would want to fake that okay, I respect that decision that you've taken. Um I mean I agree with you in principle and everything that you're saying, but I mean in their privacy, I mean So why why don't they just move on? Mm. Move on in the why relationship. Don't you just, you know, <laughs> quit <laughs> I mean, this one and move on. <laughs> I don't this. think. I don't because think you'll be lying to the person that you are yeah, with then. Yeah. But but the issue here is that the issue here is that I mean you like them. I mean you love them genuinely. You love yes. them. But you feel that there's something that ought to be satisfied. There's a need that ought mm. to be met, and that need is not being met. Okay. So you look elsewhere for you know. Mm. Yes. Abraham, my friend in Tamale, is joining us on the phone. Good morning, Abraham. Good morning, madam. Yes, sir. Let's hear you. Yes, I want to add something to what my colleagues are saying. Yeah, your host. Yeah, it's, it's really true. Sometimes, maybe for instance, if you get in touch, you, you have to, the feeling, the desire for them, and you do it. In fact, it doesn't even take up to a week or so. And uh, you have that desire. The, the desire. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's, it's for, for her without sex at, at, the, at the primary stage, I, I think it's really what to the man. Okay. All right, Abraham. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit difficult uh, understanding what you're saying, though. Yeah. What I'm saying is maybe sex at the early stage is, is necessary for the man. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, Abraham. Thank you for sharing. Uh, hello. Oh, I thought you were saying something right there. Uh, you can also give us a quick call on zero three zero two two one one six nine. One or two, uh, Maxwell and Naspi uh, yeah. sharing a few thoughts. But, but maybe, you know, um, that issue that I'm talking about that um, a lady not willing to have sex, premarital sex, and all yeah. that, um, we can make extension to that even, I mean, when you're looking at marriage, when um, the lady, when the woman gives birth, actually, and there's that long break, there's that long hiatus that I mean, she's not allowed to have sex yeah. with a partner. Have you been married before? I've <laughs> never been married before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard a lot of stories yeah. about, you know, so backup lovers, you know, it's legitimized when you have polygam. I mean, when you have a polygamous mm. for me, that's... Is, is it ever legitimate? <laughs> I mean, that's when it is, um, I mean, in some um, religions, I would don't want to call it backup if you have four wives, I mean, of course, it makes it legitimate. No, I mean, yeah, but if, yeah. if they are wives, they're they're wives yes. they're they're not backups, they're wives. Yes, they're yeah. wives. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not, I also agree with that because, mm. you know, it's not, a, it's not a surprise that most married men have mistresses. Mm. And then maybe some women have also have affairs going on, you know. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I mean. You're on campus, you would know. Married yeah. women come around, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they? They do, I mean, a lot of times. I yeah. mean, I, Let I me speak to Adam <laughs> and then we'll talk about this subject. Okay. Hello, Adam. Good morning. Hello, Adam. Yeah, good morning, madam. Yes, sir. Thank you for calling. Let's hear you. Yeah. I like your program this morning. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes it takes me the men to have backup. Like you be a married woman, then sometimes you may have to have something with your wife and she's resisting not to do it. 
And sometimes you may even like to say, oh, some women, if they go one round, they can't even go the second one. And you, the man, you still have the desire to go on. And the lady will say, no, no, I won't mm -hmm. go. I won't do it again. Sometimes, oh, you cannot even resist to have those things, you know? Mm -hmm. So it will lead you to go outside and have the backup. Yeah. I think you understand what I'm saying. Eh. I get yeah. what you are saying, but I don't understand you because you said for better, for worse. Yeah, I know, but I you know, we the men, you yeah. cannot tell us. Hey. Yeah. I get you, Adam. Thank you for yeah. sharing. Yeah. One day, just go after, after the delivery, oh, I say, oh, I will go near to you again. It's not one year time. Oh, yeah. I, I guess you, Adam, we'll work on ourselves. Don't worry. Let me speak to Alex, who is joining us okay, from Cantonment. Good morning, yeah. Alex. Thank you for calling. Hello. Uh, good morning, Destiny. Yes, good morning. Thank you. Let's hear you. Uh, yeah, sometimes the lady on yeah. the radio and the lady. I just tell you that, oh, let's be a friend. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, hello. I'm, I'm finding yeah, okay. it a bit difficult to hear, but, but we can hear you, so let's hear you. Yeah. So if you're in the relationship and the lady tell you, oh, so I just think it's so let's be friend or something like that. Sometimes mm -hmm. the lady who, sometimes the lady who have a affair with somebody and they don't want to break up, but they like the current guy. Yeah. So they'll just say this and this and this, then we will, they will be talking the guy along the line. So sometimes we have to be very vigilant about such, uh, how scenario that if it comes like that, that we have to learn or uh, back up ourselves. <laughs> 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 All right. I get what yeah. you mean. Thank you, Alex. Okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, quickly on the... Mm -hmm. yeah. Because <laughs> you're, you're going to say something. Yeah, I mean, the, the refrain on you were asking whether married women, I mean, come, come, come to yeah. come, come to so, you know. The refrain this semester was actually that, okay, this year God is going to bless us to the extent that, you know, married women will buy cars for us. You know, that was, that was a refrain, <laughs> not <laughs> among some of my friends, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, I've said a lot, but that notwithstanding, I think it's important for us to come to the realization that the issue of backups shouldn't be underestimated because one i mean it's a drain on resources because i've seen friends who have bought like two packs of pieces like in a day and that should be like close to 50 ghana cities that can buy cement man. <laughs> you can build with that <laughs> money you know <laughs> people do that yeah. i think it's a drain on resources mm -hmm. apart from the drain on resources you can also look at the issue of sti sexually yeah. transmitted infections mm -hmm. diseases and all that so it is important though we may joke sit around the table drink beer and laugh over these issues it is important that we come to the realization that you know um it, 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 it's really serious okay. the issue of backup lovers yeah. is really serious That's be quickly in 30 seconds. yeah yeah backup lovers um you know i just left campus i mean i knew i knew this guy when we were in school we were together and it happens you know we you know women come around men come around big guys bring big cars you know take this you know younger okay. women take them out you know big women come for younger guys you know at the end of the day they want to you know it's about a sexual uh, their sexual life you yeah. know they want to keep it active because you know they're married uh, the married men are probably old and the house alone and they can't perform like they used to maybe mm. so they need some you know <laughs> some engine i mean to you know fuel the engine you know make it faster and make it more efficient i mean that is why they come so i understand you cannot mm. take it away from the society it, you know it's, yeah. it's it's that way okay you know all right yeah. but it's not, good. it's not good yeah it is i get good. you guys we'll yeah. continue this conversation <laughs> stay with us